Welcome to the dark side of the digital world, where one click can bring down entire empires. In this video, we're diving deep into the most jaw-dropping zero-day attacks that shook the world's biggest companies. Discover the untold stories of how hackers exploited hidden vulnerabilities, causing chaos and costing billions. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind these infamous breaches and learn how the digital giants fought back. Stuxnet 2010 Stuxnet, a sophisticated worm, was used to sabotage Iran's nuclear facilities by targeting Siemens industrial control systems. Believed to be developed by U.S. and Israeli intelligence, it caused significant damage, though the financial losses remain undisclosed. Siemens is still operational and has since strengthened its security measures for SCADA systems and industrial control environments. Google Aurora Attack, 2009 The Aurora Attack, allegedly by Chinese hackers, targeted Google, Adobe, and other major tech companies, leading to intellectual property theft and unauthorized access to Gmail accounts. The exact financial losses are unknown, but the attack prompted Google to exit China and enhance its security infrastructure. All affected companies are still operational and have implemented stronger endpoint protections and network security measures. Heartbleed, 2014. Heartbleed, a critical flaw in the OpenSSL library, allowed attackers to steal sensitive data from servers of companies like Yahoo and GitHub. While the financial impact was not fully disclosed, the vulnerability led to widespread panic and costs related to patching and damage control. Affected companies remain operational and have since bolstered their encryption practices and conducted extensive security audits. Sony Pictures Hack 2014 The Sony Pictures Hack, carried out by the Guardians of Peace, allegedly North Korean, resulted in the theft and release of confidential data, causing an estimated $100 million in losses. Sony Pictures is still operational and has since overhauled its cybersecurity protocols, improved incident response capabilities, and increased employee training on security awareness. Equifax Data Breach 2017 A zero-day vulnerability in Apache Struts was exploited by Chinese hackers to steal sensitive information from over 143 million Americans, leading to an estimated $1.4 billion in damages, including fines and legal settlements. Equifax remains operational and has taken significant steps to overhaul its security infrastructure, including enhanced patch management, encryption, and continuous monitoring. WannaCry Ransomware 2017 WannaCry exploited the Eternal Blue zero-day vulnerability in Windows to spread ransomware globally, affecting organizations like the UK's NHS and FedEx. The attack caused over $4 billion in damages and significant operational disruptions. The affected organizations remain operational, having implemented stricter patching protocols, enhanced backup solutions, and improved network segmentation. NotPedia 2017 NotPedia, another attack leveraging the Eternal Blue exploit, targeted companies like Maersk and Merck, leading to over $10 billion in global damages. Maersk, which faced a $300 million loss and other affected companies remain operational and have since invested in better network segmentation backup solutions, and enhanced incident response planning. Google Chrome Zero Day 2019 A zero-day vulnerability in Google Chrome, exploited by various threat actors, allowed remote code execution through a flaw in the file reader API. While the financial impact was limited, Google quickly patched the vulnerability and improved the security of its browser. Google remains fully operational and continues to enhance its vulnerability reporting programs. Apple iOS Zero Day 2021. The NSO group's Pegasus spyware exploited a zero day in Apple iOS, allowing attackers to install spyware without user interaction. Although the exact financial impact was indirect, Apple faced significant reputational damage. Apple remains operational and has since introduced stronger privacy features, implemented security patches, and taken legal action against spyware vendors. Microsoft Exchange Server Zero Day 2021. Microsoft Exchange servers were targeted by the Hafnium Group, allegedly state-sponsored by China, exploiting a series of zero-day vulnerabilities. This widespread attack caused billions in damages, compromising numerous organizations worldwide. Microsoft remains operational and has released emergency patches, provided detection tools, and increased collaboration with cybersecurity partners. SolarWinds Supply Chain Attack, 2020 
The solar wind supply chain attack, attributed to Russian state-sponsored hackers, Cozy Bear, compromised numerous U.S. government agencies and private companies like Microsoft. The breach led to an estimated $100 million in damages and widespread operational impact. Solar Winds and other affected companies remain operational and have implemented stronger software development practices and supply chain security measures. Facebook Zero Day, 2018. A zero day flaw in Facebook's View As feature allowed attackers to steal access tokens, compromising 50 million accounts. While the financial losses were not fully disclosed, the breach led to potential fines and lawsuits. Facebook is still operational and has since enhanced its security infrastructure, rolled out global security updates, and improved user authentication systems. Zoom Zero Day, 2020. Amid the surge in usage during the pandemic, Zoom was targeted by attackers exploiting a zero-day vulnerability to spy on calls and meetings. The company faced financial costs related to fixing vulnerabilities and addressing privacy concerns, but remains operational. Zoom has implemented end-to-end -end encryption, enhanced user security controls, and launched bug bounty programs to prevent future incidents. LinkedIn Data Breach, 2021. A zero-day vulnerability in LinkedIn's API allowed attackers to scrape data from 700 million profiles, leading to potential legal repercussions. LinkedIn, which remains operational, has since improved API security, implemented stricter data access controls, and enhanced user data protection protocols. Kaseya VSA Zero Day 2021. The Revel ransomware group exploited a zero day vulnerability in Kaseya's VSA software, demanding a $70 million ransom and affecting thousands of businesses. Kaseya is still operational and has since implemented stronger patch management processes, improved security monitoring, and launched recovery tools for affected clients. Apple Mac OS Zero Day 2021. Various threat actors, including the Schleyer Malware Group, exploited a zero-day in macOS to bypass security protections. Although the financial impact was limited, Apple faced reputational damage. Apple remains operational and has tightened app review processes, enhanced macOS security features, and issued prompt security updates. Yahoo Zero Day, 2014 Yahoo suffered a major data breach due to a zero-day vulnerability, likely exploited by state-sponsored Russian hackers. The breach, which contributed to a $350 million reduction in Yahoo's acquisition price by Verizon, involved the compromise of 500 million user accounts. Yahoo remains operational under Verizon Media, now part of Apollo Global Management, and has since overhauled its security practices, implemented stronger encryption, and increased transparency with users. Google Zero Day, Project Zero, 2020. Google's Project Zero team discovered multiple zero-day vulnerabilities affecting various platforms. While the financial impact was indirect, related to fixing vulnerabilities and patch distribution, Google remains operational and continues to reinforce its bug bounty programs and accelerate patch deployment. Microsoft Windows Zero Day, 2015. The Duke 2.0 attack, linked to a state-sponsored group possibly from Israel, exploited a zero-day vulnerability in Windows, targeting corporate and government networks for espionage. Although the financial impact was limited, Microsoft remains operational and has since improved its vulnerability management, released critical patches, and enhanced detection of advanced persistent threats, APTs. Android Zero Day, 2020. Various threat actors exploited a zero-day vulnerability in Android's binder driver, potentially affecting millions of devices. While the financial losses were indirect, impacting user trust and security, Google remains operational and has implemented tighter security controls, more frequent security updates, and collaboration with OEMs to enhance Android's security ecosystem.